Okay, so it's about that time of year again. And as we draw to the end of April, a lot of parents with children in year five, in particular, some in year four, will start thinking about the 11 plus, what needs to be done, the registration and so on. And so this video is going to give you a real overview of what you need to plan for if your child is in year five already basically may help you ensure that you don't miss crucial deadlines. Hi, my name's Joycelyn Akufo. I'm the Managing Director of Geek School Tutoring. We are based in Beckenham and Catford and we also provide tuition online covering the 11 plus supporting students in key stage three and gcse in their maths english and all through three sciences chemistry biology and physics so today i want to talk about the 11 plus process now most boroughs will start, most boroughs that have grammar schools and grammar schools that manage their own registration process will start opening registrations in May. Some of them open in June, but generally by the end of August or the early parts of August, they all set their own closing dates. Um, but effectively by the end of August, um, all registrations will close. So if you have a child who is in year five now, you need to get ready to register them. Now, generally the registrations are online, but there are some schools that are still doing it paper form. I have no idea why, but generally they're online. So you should head off to um, the school website. So for example, if your child will be sitting um, uh, for the Bexley test, go onto the Bexley website um, and look for something called selection tests. Um, even though the term that's more popularly used is the 11 plus, for the grammar school um, exams, they're called selection tests. So you need to, um, you know, look for that. A lot of boroughs will start putting it on their homepage or somewhere um, on the main page for school, uh, for school's information um, so that it can stand out to parents. But if not, um, literally Google um, selection tests plus, you know, the local authority you're looking for. So selection tests, Bexley and so on. Um, so you apply in year five and your child will sit the exam usually in September of year six. OK, so it's always a bit heartbreaking is the only word that I can think of at this time when parents in year six get in touch with me in September um, and they're interested in the 11 plus exams for their children or their child and they're really thinking of grammar schools but because they're contacting me in September it means that generally all the grammar school entries are closed and only the independent school exams are accessible. So if you have a child in year five, please remember you register for the child to sit the exam in year five. They sit the exam in year six, usually in September. So that's something that you have to, have to, have to remember. So um, independent school exams, Generally, you could literally apply for their um, exams just about any time you want. But these days, because they're also predominantly taking registrations online, um, many of them will start opening registrations around now. Some of them will open registrations in September. Um, and basically their exams are usually in January, but there are some schools, particularly the girls' schools, a lot of the uh, GDST schools, girls' day trust schools, um, sit their exams in October or November of year six, not in January. So it's important to start doing your research now. Draw up a short list of the schools that you're interested in. You know, literally 
um, I'm going to put a link to a spreadsheet that you can use where it will just have a column for grammar schools, a column for independent schools, and you literally just need to list down all the schools that you're interested in your child sitting an exam for and, you know, make sure you know the key dates, the dates for the deadline for registration for each of those schools um, and, you know, so that you don't miss them. And I would even put alerts on, um, you know, you'll put alerts on your phone, reminders on your phone, put it in your calendar as like a an event for the day and so on. Um, try and put the day, the close, you know, the deadline a good few days before the actual closing date so that you don't miss out, basically. So um, what would happen after that then is that obviously for online registrations, it's usually managed via email. Some boroughs are still sending out, um, you know, like a letter that has the, the, the number, the ID number of your child. And you have to take that piece of paper in when they sit the exam in September. And others, you know, they'll just ask you to print the email. It's a whole mix because, you know, every borough uh, can manage the process the way they want to. And every school, if a school's managing their own pro process, like Newstead Wood and St. Olaf's, they're super selective schools in the borough of Bromley. Bromley Council don't actually manage their registration. All the registrations go straight through to the school. Okay, so let's look at the detail in the video regarding finding the area of the local authority websites where you will register your child for the grammar school selection test. So if we head over to Google and, oh goodness, terms and conditions. <laughs> so let's just say we're looking for um, the Kent test. Kent test. Um, and we just put registration. I mean, they call theirs the Kent test. Um, and so... It's quite easy to find on Google doing it that way. But for other um, boroughs, what you'd really want to type in is something like Bexley plus selection test. And that will give you some options, obviously. And you would then be able to go ahead and register. Now, most of these registrations are not open just yet because largely they open, you know, around the 1st of May time um, and so on. Now, if you live in a borough that doesn't have a selection test, but you would like your child to sit an exam in a borough, that does, for example, if you live in Lewisham Borough and you'd like your child to sit an exam in Bexley, Kent, Sutton, um, for Newstead Wood or St. Olaf School, for example, you would need to contact, um, you'd need to register on the website of the local authority that has um, grammar schools basically and usually it's one exam that enables you to apply for your child to um, be selected for the grammar school subject to them passing the exam but then you have schools like Newstead Wood so which is a school in a grammar school in Bromley and they manage their own application process and it's um, the other school within Bromley, which is not its sister school, it's just the boys' grammar school called um, St. Olaf's, also manages their own registration process. So you would need to go on those um, individual school websites to uh, register there directly. And for some reason, the website doesn't seem to load properly from Google. But let's just say, you know, you're on such a website, look for information or admissions. Usually it's admissions um, 
once you click in there, they usually have, you know, lots of information about the registration. Hopefully the date should be on there now and so on. So that's the easy, easy way um, of registering your child. Now, if your child, if you, if you intend to register your child for uh, independent schools, independent schools are private schools and they basically manage their own admission. So you'd need to register for the exam for each of the independent schools directly. So I'll use Elton College as one example. And, you know, literally type in Google like I did, Elton College admissions like I did just here in the Google search bar. And then it's entry at 11 plus, and then you get lots of information. And as you can see, we're in April, but registration for the 11 plus exam for 2022 entry is now open and you would um, see that the online registration is also open and they thankfully list all the key dates. You know, there's an open morning planned for the 18th of September. The registration deadline is the 15th of November. The exam is on the 5th of January and so on. Then obviously different details on the different kind of scholarship assessment days, when the offer letters will be posted, although that's to be confirmed. And then the acceptance deadline, again, to be confirmed. I guess, you know, the two will go hand in hand. So that's basically everything. You'd go on the online registration and then, you know, just follow, follow through and register um, nice and simply. So that's it, really. Um, effectively, it's very straightforward to register your child um, for the 11 plus exams once you have a short list of schools and you know where to head. So um, that's basically how that works. So um, you need to have a really good idea of what you're doing and when so that you don't miss the deadline. So I just thought that I would upload this short video. I have another video coming up, which is a lot more detailed and it talks about the process in a lot more detail. It's a very long video <laughs> and um, that one you can watch. But I thought I'd put this one up so that parents do not miss deadlines. Um, you know, some of your children may have been working a good year, two years, sometimes even longer already. And the last thing anyone needs is for you to miss the deadline. And it's just a wasted opportunity. So I hope this video was helpful. And um, please remember that Geek School provides 11 plus tuition online now. So I get contacted by parents all around the country, even in other countries where their children attend, um, you know, international schools and so on, and they want the ch their child to maybe sit the 11 plus exam and come over to a boarding school and so on. We can support your child wherever you are now. So if you're interested in tuition, head on over to their website, geekschool.co.uk and get in touch. My preference is a WhatsApp message, but by all means, you can call. We will um, initially do an assessment just to see what level your child is working at. And I like to recommend schools um, following in, following on from that. And then we take it from there. So that's it. Thank you so much and see you on the next one. Bye.